We begin at 530 with the response to a weekend of violence in Providence. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kim Kalunian. I'm Mike Montecalvo. At least five people were arrested on gun charges, but police are still searching for more suspects. Late Friday night, a person was shot outside the Wonderland Gentlemen's Club on Allen's Avenue. Then early Sunday morning, three people were shot on Lennox Avenue. New at 530, 12 News reporter Matt Paddock spoke with the city's mayor and joins us now from the public safety complex. I spoke with Mara Lorza today, who tells me that this weekend shootings are an example of the increase in gun violence, both here in Providence and across the country. We had two separate incidents this past weekend. Police tape lining Lennox Avenue on Sunday after police were called to reports of shots fired. That incident sending three people to the hospital, a 29 year old man and two women ages 22 and 25 after they were shot standing next to their car. You know, every one of these cases is different, but one thing that's constant is the amount of guns that we have out there on the streets. The other shooting happening late Friday night after a fight broke out between two groups at Wonderland Gentlemen's Club. That shooting sent one man to Rhode Island Hospital in critical condition. Mayor Jorge Alorza says while violence is down in the city, uh, crime isn't only down in the city, but it's way down to historic levels. This weekend, putting a spotlight on the access to firearms. Try to keep as many guns from entering the hands of people who are going to use them in crime. Of, cur of course, making arrests and recovering guns that are out there on the streets. Providence police taking six guns off the streets within an hour of the shooting on Allen's Ave. It's outstanding work in taking some real firepower off the streets. Who knows what was averted uh, with the removal of those guns. Police say a handful of separate gun arrests were made during traffic stops early Saturday morning. It's a bit of a minor miracle and frankly, all credit goes to the Providence Police Department and getting those guns off the streets that you know, they that those could have easily led to either retaliation or separate gunfire. Now, I spoke with Providence Police today and they tell me after preliminary investigations, they do not believe the shooting on Lennox Avenue was random and that no arrests have been made in either incident at the safety complex. Matt Pettick, 12 News.